there's something about the midnight hour. I know in the Bible that uh, Paul and Silas, they were bound in the chains in the lower uh, parts of the jail, if you will. And I'm telling you, at midnight, they started praising the Lord, giving him thanks. I'm telling you, God works at the midnight hour. He's plowing at the midnight hour. Hallelujah. He's working. My legs, and I went through prowess. I was in the, at the midnight hour. Hallelujah. My legs gained their strength back, and I felt the healing power of God move in that hospital. I walked out of there. Hallelujah. But I'm going to preach on this for a moment. I'm fired up. I'm telling you, God works at the midnight hour. God is you know, here. He's using people. They're hungry, twin souls, to set the captives free. He sent people with an anointing and a calling over their life to preach the word of God, but in love. God wants to set you free. I don't care if it's the midnight hour. I don't care if you have a needle hanging out of your arm. I don't care if you're OD, half dead, purple and blue. In a bathtub, and people are trying to revive you because you're almost at hell's door. But I'm telling you, God steps in at the midnight hour. It ain't your time to go. God came to save the people. He picked Paul. Well, his name was Saul. He once killed Christians, persecuted the people of God, and helped kill the people. But on the 12th, Pearls and the New Jerusalem, amen. It's going to have the 12 apostles, and it's going to be Paul. He was the underdog, the one that everyone counted off. They wrote him off. He ain't, he ain't nobody. He's a Christian killer. Uh, then he became of the same faith. God stopped him on the way to Damascus. He said, Saul, why persecute thou me? And a light shone down on him, and he said, Go into this next town, and shall be told what you should do. But I'm telling you, God is here to restore. He's not looking for a perfect box of crayons. He's looking for something that's messed up. He can't work with something that's already perfect and prideful. you got to have a broken and contrite spirit. I'm telling you, God wants to work in you tonight. If you hear this message 10 years from now, five years from now, my God, he works at the midnight hour. Hallelujah. I'm fired up and I feel the anointing of preaching spirit. And I'm telling you right now, my God is coming to restore. Hallelujah. All oh, the outcast. He said, I'll bring them down. I'll bring them back. All oh, the outcast. I'm telling you, if you ever felt like an outcast in society, God's coming to bring you back. Oh, hallelujah. He took that Saul and turned him into Paul. He was an outcast. I'm telling you, he's coming back. He wants brokenness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, I love you, Jesus. Took, took some brokenness and used it. So he can mold you on the potter's wheel. He's the potter. We're the clay. We're made of clay. You have to be pliable on that wheel. He works in mysterious ways. We don't know why or when. We're not supposed to question, but have faith. Oh, hallelujah. I'm telling you that the midnight hour start praising him. Watch God break them chains, addictions fall. All the stuff that you're going through, hell breaking loose. God's fixing to see the earthquake. He's fixing to shake them chains and shackles off. That's had you bound in sin. Hallelujah. I tell you, my God is powerful. And he's ready to shake some things off you. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless y'all. Thank you. And I'm going to let y'all go in Jesus' name. Amen.